Hi, praise the Lord, boys and girls. My name is Sister Sylvie. I'm going to be your Sunday school teacher today for grades three through five here at the Apostolic Faith Church. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. Dear Lord God, we thank you. We praise you. We honor you. We magnify you. We lift you up and we praise your holy name, Lord, for you are worthy to be praised, Lord God. You are King of kings and Lord of lords. And we thank you and we praise you, Lord. We pray, Lord Jesus, for the students who are going to be listening to the lesson on today, Lord God, and those who will hear the lesson on at a different time, Lord God. Bless them, Lord Jesus, to take the word that they hear, to understand it, Lord God, to live it out, Lord Jesus, in their life so that they can reflect you and draw others to you. Lord God, we pray for our pastor, his wife and family in a special, special way. Bless them, Lord God. Continue to have your hand covering over them. We pray, Lord Jesus, for those people who are experiencing war all over the world, Lord Jesus. We pray, Lord Jesus, for peace. We pray for comfort for, for them, Lord Jesus. Send your angels, Lord God. Bless them in a special, special way, Lord God. We thank you for the lesson on today, and we lift you up and praise your name. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, let's get started with our lesson. The title of our lesson today is Doing the Right Thing. And our lesson is found in Romans chapter six, verses one through 14. And we'll be using the easy read version on today. Before we get started with the actual lesson, let's do a little activity or like a little survey. See what you think. Which would you choose to keep? It shows pictures of old gym shoes and pictures of new gym shoes. It shows a picture of the original Nintendo and a picture of the Nintendo switch. Which would you keep? I'm pretty sure everybody is saying that they would keep the new item over the old. Uh, why would you want to go? Would you want to go back to the old? No. Why would you want to go back to the old? The new is better. Let's continue. Again, our scripture lesson is from Romans chapter six, verses one through verses 14. Now, Jesus came down from heaven to earth, being fully God and fully man, and operated as a man to show us how to live. He also came to die as a sacrifice on the cross for our sins, to cancel and pay for our debt of sin. The Bible tells us that we were all born in sin and shaped in iniquity. When he rose from the grave, he gave us new life that gives us freedom over sin through him. Sin no longer controls us. When we accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we have power over sin through him. We have been given something new, a new life. Yes, we have been given freedom from sin. Why would you want to go back to the old way, being chained to sin? We have been freed from the penalty of sin. Romans 6 and 23 tells us in the easy read version, when people sin, they earn what sin pays and sin pays death. But God gives his people a free gift of eternal life in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Let's continue. Now, even when we have accepted Jesus, we will still be challenged or tempted to make bad choices. We'll be tempted to sin. We should do the right thing. Follow Jesus' ways, not go back to our old ways and habits. He will not force us to do the right thing, but he's right there to help us. How does he help us? He gives us his Holy Spirit to direct and guide us. He gives us prayer so we can talk to him about the things that we're going through and the challenges that we're having and to praise him for who he is. He gives us the Bible to guide us like a roadmap on how we should live for him. He gives us people like our pastor and our Sunday school teachers and others to instruct us on how to live for him. Using these tools Jesus gives us will help us to do the right thing. Let's continue. If we mess up sin, we can ask God for forgiveness. He will forgive us, but we should not take his grace for granted. What is grace? Favor that we don't deserve. 
We don't deserve to be free. Jesus took our place on the cross. He died for us so that we can be free from sin. We should not sin or make wrong choices intentionally, which means on purpose. Romans 6, 1 and 2 in the Easy Read version tells us, so you think you should continue sinning so that God will give us more and more grace? Of course not. Our old sinful life has ended. It's dead. So how can we continue living in sin? Let's continue. So choose to walk in the new life Jesus gives us. Don't pick up your old life again. Jesus has given us a new life. He's given us freedom. Yes, he gives us freedom from sin and eternal life. So when you're challenged, do the right thing. Follow him. Let's continue. Our memory verse from today comes from Romans 6, 10 and 11. And again, we're reading from the easy read version. And it says, yes, when Christ died, he died to defeat the power of sin one time, enough for all time. He now has a new life and his new life is with God. In the same way, you should see yourself as being dead to the power of sin and alive for God through Christ Jesus. This week's challenge, keep a journal and make a list of wrongful thoughts or actions that might tempt you this week. Then pray for God's help during those times and think about how knowing Jesus guides your response to those things. Romans 6.23, the King James Version, tells us the wages of sin is death but the gift of God is eternal life. Jesus paid the cost of our sins with his free will sacrifice for us on the cross. And he gave us power over sin by rising up from the dead with all power in his hand. He will give everyone who will accept him as Lord and savior, freedom from sin and the gift of eternal life with him in heaven. But just like any gift, you have to accept it. Will you accept him? Would you like to become part of God's kingdom today? Please call us here at the Apostolic Faith Church. The number is on the screen, 773-373-8500. A minister or a minister helper will be there to guide you. Well, that's the end of our lesson, boys and girls. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. Dear Lord God, we thank you. We praise you. We honor you. We thank you for your word, Lord God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for making us new, Lord God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for your sacrifice on the cross for our sins, Lord God. We thank you for freedom from sin, Lord God, and eternal life through you, Lord God. Help us, Lord Jesus, each and every day to follow your word, Lord God. Help us to be a light to others, Lord Jesus, to draw them to you so they too can have freedom from sin if they have not accepted you as Lord and Savior, Lord God. We thank you, we praise you, we love you, and we trust you. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, bye-bye, boys and girls. See you next time.